Hey guys, doing a quick product review today. It is a beautiful February day in Florida. So of course it's, uh, let's see, 80 degrees and sunny and we're having a good old time. So uh, through a promotion, uh, got picked up from Force One, their little Blue Jay Wi-Fi FPV aerial photography drone and figured it would be a lot of fun to show you guys what's in the box, uh, a little bit about how it works, initial impressions, that sort of thing. So. Let's do that. Um, nice packaging, nice box. And we shall see what is inside. It's giving me a lot of information on the back here. Custom flight route modes. Uh, looks like a little sunscreen for your camera phone uh, and everything. This this could be kind of cool. Obviously, the box seems a little bit small for something like a, like a photography style drone, um, but we shall see. So, we slide out. What all do we have in here? Oop. Little box here. Drill itself. And some paperwork. Nothing's ever good without paperwork, right? So, manual for the Blue Jay. Please let us know if you are not happy with your purchase. Okay. Well, we don't know yet. So, in here. As you can see, we have the drone. Uh, as you can see by the size of my hand, I do have big hands, but this is much smaller than most people would can you know think about for a, uh, a photography style drone. It does look like, uh, obviously, very similar to the Phantom style bodywork, um, but the, the size itself is more akin to like the Spark, so much smaller. Uh, I see a small little radio here. So, little camera bracket on the top to put your uh, cell phone in, and obviously very plastic little radio. Uh, no batteries in this guy, that's okay, because we picked up some batteries on the way. Good to go there. And the drone itself, oh, got to put the legs on it. So here we go. Should be pretty self-explanatory, no? And does require a little screwdriver, good thing I brought tools. So we'll put these guys right here. Set up, fast forward. Okay, so got all that done. Here's the radio, power's on. Here's the drone. Uh, it uses small little one cell batteries. Oh, looks like there was an extra one in here. Cool. Probably gonna need to charge that up. Uh, it does come with some extra props, a uh, battery and a little USB charger here, some prop guards. The one thing I will say that with as, uh, as small and light as this guy is, um, I have a feeling that prop guards are actually gonna cause it to be a little more unsteady in wind, uh, more so than it already is. Um, with a lighter drone, you're going to get a lot of blowing around in wind, so that could be uh, a plus or a minus. But obviously, if you're flying in the house or you're a first time flyer, you may want to put the prop guards on just because you want to be careful not to hit anybody, hurt anybody, or anything. So, uh, they're little one cell 500 milliamp batteries, uh, very simple. Um, I know a lot of people have had issues with other similar grade drones, a little USB charger. Uh, sometimes they don't work. There are a lot of options out there, but uh, plugging this in, all you have to do is hook it up, plug it in. And speaking of USB, they did include a little, uh, let's see, how big is this? 2200 milliamp power bank charger uh, so that you can field charge your batteries uh, while you're out with this little guy. So that's, that's actually pretty slick. Uh, only other thing in here, there's a bit of a sunshade for your, uh, for your phone while you're out there, which uh, kind of a neat idea. And that clips right into the top up here and, and shields your phone so you can see while you're using the Wi-Fi. So let's, uh, let's hook this up and see how that works. So I am going to uh, tell on myself, I did open this up earlier and charge this battery just so I had one to uh, work with while we were out here. So I'm gonna plug him in. With a battery this small uh, on a copter like this, obviously you're dealing with brushed motors and a one cell battery and all that stuff. 
So uh, I wouldn't expect too crazy of a flight time out of it. Um, it actually sets up very similar to the old Phantom where you plug them together and then stick that guy right in the back and snap that right in place. So he's on, he's on, he's squared away. Just looking to see, okay, there is an on off switch on the bottom, which is going to turn our drone on and off, I would imagine. Or maybe not. Yes, it is. It is flashing and blinking. So radio's on, that's on. I got beeps. And it does fly. So I'm getting a lot of drift in this tiny, tiny little bit of wind we have out here. Um, so that's not, uh, not making me feel super excited about that. I have to play with the trims a little bit, see if I can fix that out. But as you can see, it does fly, it does hover. Um, interesting, neat little guy. And this is all, of course, just line of sight. You can send it out. It actually flies very smoothly, very stable. Um, there's supposed to be a uh, flight modes option in here, so we'll see how that goes. Catching it just like the Phantom. And then bring it all the way down and it turns itself off. So I was actually hitting on the radio, there's a take off and then a return to home button. Um, apparently there's a flip option. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, and your speed options, and then I'm guessing that's for your waypoints and navigation to, to put it in a, kind of an auto mode. So uh, all together, pretty neat. Uh, I did download the app. Let's see what we can figure out with that. There's an app called Flying C. So F-L-Y-I-N-G-S-E-E. -E. So Flying C, which is kind of funny. Uh, we are wanting to connect to this guy. But there it is. It's actually U-D-I-R-C F-P-V. And so we're just going to click on that. And we are connected. So now... If I go to FPV Flying C, we're connected there. We're at the home, remote control interface. Oh, and there we go. I can totally see this little drone. So um, it definitely looks, we'll see if you guys can see this here. It definitely looks like a little uh, camera phone uh, old school webcam, that sort of thing. I uh, have to do, see if I can do a screen capture of that at some point and uh, get you guys some footage of that. But um, yeah, kind of interesting, very small. Let's see if we can actually fly with that. Get that up and running. Moving slightly out of the way. Arm the motors, he is up and he is gone. And we are flying through the camera. Uh, it's definitely tilted a little bit down, um, so we'd probably need to level that out if I was really going to try and fly with it. A little bit herky-jerky, but it is there and it is in the area. Yeah, I actually just, uh, just clipped a branch because the camera's looking so far down. Um, but yeah, kind of a neat little setup. So let's see what happens if I actually hit return to home. Huh. So if you hit the return to home button, it actually just begins to land. So manual landing by myself. Just going to bring it down. And if you hold the throttle all the way down, it does turn off. So basic first impressions out of the box it works you do have to charge the batteries uh, these little guys are not hard to charge and they're easy to pick up extras of um, it is definitely uh, a, a toy grade brushed motor copter so these motors kind of wear themselves out over time just be aware of that uh, but I would say for the price point at about it was about hundred and thirty dollars total uh, for sale on Amazon I've seen these um, it would be a lot of fun for uh, someone to play around with, see if they're interested in it, see if they like it. 
realize that you're not going to have all of the control over this that you would have with uh, a larger copter with uh, like a, a much stronger GPS signal, uh, much more dedicated video signal than just a Wi-Fi because on a Wi-Fi signal you're going to get about 75 feet out. But for playing around the house, playing around in the yard, that sort of thing, on a, on a really calm day, this looks like it could be a lot of fun. So thanks Force One, appreciate it. Uh, neat little copter, we're gonna play with it. And uh, I think we're gonna probably get some young guys up on this and, and have them uh, learn all about their copters before we move them on to the bigger and better things. So thanks again, we'll put it to good use and we'll see you guys later, bye.